Hi all, welcome to MRI Chartered Accountants Group. Thank you for the immense response for the previous videos on IMARA tax. We have been receiving a lot of inquiries on how to do VAT refund submission in the new portal. So this video is all about how to file VAT 311 VAT refund in the IMARA tax portal. Let's move on to the next tutorial video from the series Understanding the IMARA tax how to file VAT 311 form. First, log in to eservices.tax.gov.ae. Select the VAT option from the dashboard. There you can find VAT 311 VAT refund section. Two options are available under VAT 311 VAT refund section. To create a new refund request, select the create new option under VAT 311 VAT refunds. If you wish to view the status of previous refund request, select the view all option. There you can find the status of the submitted refund request. If any refund request is drafted and needs any amendment, click on actions and select the edit tab. To initiate a new refund request, select the new refund request option. Once this option is selected, you can see the details like required templates guidelines and supporting documentations required for submitting the refund request. Mark the checkbox to confirm the guidelines and instructions. Select the start option to proceed ahead. Next section details the basic details of the registrant. Bank details are pre-populated from the registration data. Please ensure that the bank details are correct prior to the submission of the refund request as incorrect bank details may lead to payment failure. In the next section, you can select the transaction for which you want to claim VAT. In the selected transaction type, enter the amount that you intend to claim as a refund. Kindly note that this amount must be equal to or less than the excess refundable VAT amount for the associated transaction type. Select the add supporting details tab to view the detailed breakup of corresponding VAT return. Download the refund template to upload the values to the table below. The format of the template is as displayed in the screen. You have to fill in the data in each sheet of the template according to the VAT return filed. Select the upload completed template option to upload the template. Once the template has been uploaded, the values will auto populate in the table below. In the below table, against each description, you can find the data pre-populated from the VAT return file. If there is any mismatch with the VAT return data and the uploaded template, error will be displayed. Otherwise, a tick mark will be shown to proceed further. Select the edit option to provide a detailed breakdown for the selected line item in your VAT return. In the next section, answer the questions to provide further details about your refund request. Select yes if you have out of scope supplies and provide the data in the refund template. Provide the contact details of the person submitting the refund request. Next is to upload the supporting documents. The documents required are 5 highest tax invoices from standard rated expenses, 5 highest zero rated supplies with official and commercial evidence in case of exports and 5 highest tax invoices related to sales and other outputs. Click the add button to upload the supporting documents. Select the next step option to proceed to the next section. It will display your completed refund request and allows you to review it prior to submission. Mark the checkbox to confirm that you have agreed to the terms and conditions on this refund screen. Select the submit option to submit the refund request. Once the application is submitted, make a note of the application number for future references. You can also access this refund request from the VAT 311 tile in the dashboard. Select the download option to download a copy of refund application submission acknowledgement. Any notification regarding the refund submission will be updated by FTA through email. The status of the refund application in the dashboard will be updated accordingly. You can also check the status of your application at any time by logging into the Imara Tax portal. 
I hope this tutorial video was helpful in understanding the procedures of filing VAT 311 form. If you have any further queries, please feel free to reach out to us. Stay tuned for more videos on Imara Tax. Thank you.